We don't want to be left by our European partners watching, watching European vessels fishing our fish standing on the cliffs and the shorelines around Ireland forevermore. If we don't get a share of our fish now, we're never going to get it. So we're looking for your support for the 23rd of June in Dublin. Unfortunately, it's no different to see what we see here today or any other day, as John has described. It's the same in Baltimore and Skull. It's going to happen in other ports and harbours around the country if we don't do something about it. Our, our solution to the problem was to get rid of boats. We didn't have enough fish in our own waters. Not that the fish weren't there, that we keep saying, but that we aren't allowed to catch it. We're back to 15% out of 100% of fish in our own waters, and we get very little fish anywhere else. And we, it, we cannot sustain that. It's not sustainable for us. This, this industry, I'm involved in it since I left school, since I was 19. Um, my father started up 35 years ago, and we manufacture nets, but it's just not us. It's all the welders, the fabricators, the grocery shops, everybody else is hugely going to be affected, not just cast home beer, but every single port around Ireland. It's going to destroy the rural communities. We're out here in the Hort, one of the six main fishery harbours in Ireland, along with Castellone, Killybegs, Rosseville, Dunmore East. Um, it's just to see the demise of the fishing industry in, in this town alone, it's just shocking and it's this is what's going to happen all over the country. Castletown Bear is going to be the same. Killybegs, Rosseville is showing the same signs as here. There's just no young people getting into the industry, being left get into the industry. And for us, uh, what, two years ago? Over two years ago now, it's probably three years in the planning, but two years in rolling. We t I've taken a lifelong decision t to be in this industry. We've invested back into the industry and in, in getting a new vessel and it's just a very very worrying time with uh, the covid pandemic was uncontrollable yes but the likes of brexit it's just the lack of fight for our in our government for our industry we lost 24 percent 25 percent 26 percent christmas eve just like we were hit by a bus um and for people that have made very heavy sacrifices and investment in the industry we're not on our own there's many more and had made sacrifices previous to this and have struggled to make it work it just all we're asking for is a government to have a backbone and fight for our industry like we're fighting for our support. this is this is a real social policy issue of keeping these communities going. This, this is what you do in these places. Again, this comes back to the communities. It's all about the communities. If we can, if we can bring up our communities, and that's where the fishing is crucial to us, because they're the, they're the paymaster of these communities. That's where we get our finance from. We can't, we can't go ahead without, without the fishing industry going well, or the marine industry going well. And we have, here we have an island nation, and and no, no, no real coherent fishing um, policy or nothing about the value of it. We don't even know, as a country, we have no value on the fishing industry. It's, 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 it's a producer of raw material straight into our shores and it's keeping these little small areas out in the back end of the going. Just for, for us, it's, it's crucial. Fishing and farming are our backbone here. Well, it's a hard life, I can tell you, like really, if you live in a community like Castletown Bear, there is no family in this community that hasn't been upset with tragedy like they've lost fathers, they've lost sons. You know, it affects the whole community. Yet, after burying that person, if we get a body back, in a lot of cases you never get the person back, they didn't go to sea again to keep the community going. And everything now, like we just feel like is regulation, regulation, regulation. We take a European regulation and we use it to almost make it impossible for Irish fishermen to go to harbour's mouth. There's no joy in the job. Get no support like for the fishermen or the, the sales organisations. And this type of frustration like is really starting to hit home. It's almost impossible now to get a young, if, if you have a boat and you've, your, your sons always took over the boat, no, People are looking, listen, go away to college, take up another job. Like, 
even though I kept our community alive for hundreds of years, don't do it. Like there's just no joy. It's not about catching fish anymore. Like in COVID, the markets have been a disaster. People have been going backwards. But it's the attitude then that the state take. Like you know, you're almost a criminal. Like like if you're a, if you're a fisherman, like and all they're trying to do is try to go out, make a living. You go to sea, you have no guaranteed income. From the first time I started fishing, I quickly realised that fish was food. And has, like any other food that is perishable, to be treated with a controlled, refrigerated environment. But then the fishing, I suppose, is, is, were a community. Even the previous owner of this boat, um, I bought him from the northeast of Scotland, Burkhead. I made great friends with him. Uh, so friends from the northeast of Scotland, right down to the southwest coast of uh, Cornwall. Uh, friends there, through fishing, all around the coast here. So it's a great community to be, uh, to be part of. We have to negotiate stronger. We have to come up with ways of getting that quota back. It has to be got back. And whatever compensation Brussels want to give to Ireland, which Ireland deserves, I think even the the Ortizuk, Michal Martin and um, Simon Coveney and Leo Vredkar, they've all said the fishing community has been hit the, the most out of Ireland, which it has, they're 100% correct, so they need to try their best to rectify that, I've no doubt they will, but that is what they have to do is get the quota back. Um, there's no point in telling boats you have to survive with a smaller quota, it's not possible, the, um, the maths don't add up, and for our processing plant here, to operate with 20% less supply, that doesn't add up either, you know?